Low expansion foam is a commonly used type of firefighting foam that comes in many different varieties for diverse applications and preferences. Class A foam is designed for use on Class A combustibles such as wood, paper, and cloth. Class B foams include several subcategories of foam. These are for use on combustible liquid fuels. They can all be used on hydrocarbon based fuels, but only certain foams can be used on polar solvents as well. Aqueous film forming foam, or AFFFs, are synthetic foams. Hydrocarbon based surfactants and fluoro surfactants lower the surface tension of their aqueous base, allowing it to spread over the surface of the hydrocarbon fuels, forming a film. Alcohol resistant aqueous film forming foams, or AR AFFFs, are similar to AFFFs, except they are also effective against polar solvent fires. These foams will usually contain a polymer that gels the foam concentrate into a thick liquid. Once expanded, these foams take longer than a standard AFFF to drain back into the liquid foam solution. Protein foams have a characteristically pungent odor. They are made from animal or vegetative sources. There are many variations that protein foams can have. Fluoroprotein foams have stabilizing additives that protect against freezing, corrosion, bacterial decomposition, and fuel pickups. If a protein is considered film forming, it is designed to form a vapor preventing film on the surface of the liquid fuel, similarly to an AFFF. Alcohol resistant protein foams contain water soluble natural polymers and alcohol insoluble materials that precipitate as an insoluble barrier in the bubble structure. This type of foam can also contain a gelling agent to thicken the foam. Several physical properties are measured for each of the foam samples. Although foam does not typically pass or fail based on these qualities, they can be helpful in identifying a common problem. Refractive index describes the way light is transmitted through the foam medium in a particular direction. It can be used to determine the concentration of a foam water mixture as well since there is a direct relationship between the two. Viscosity is measured in samples with a thick consistency. Viscosity is a quantitative measurement of the resistance to flow. A sample with low viscosity will flow like water, while a sample with a higher viscosity will flow slower. The density of a sample is a relationship of its mass and volume. Most foam concentrates have a greater density than that of water. The pH of a sample is the ratio of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. A lower pH corresponds to more hydrogen ions and yields a more acidic sample. A higher pH corresponds to more hydroxide ions and is more alkaline or basic. pH uses a logarithmic scale, meaning this concentration changes tenfold for every integer on the scale. Foam is also subjected to performance testing. This includes the expansion and drain time as well as the film formation for foams that are designed to form a film. In this rough mini demo, a foam concentration is weighed out at a specified percent and mixed with water. This mixture is then shaken to simulate expansion. The liquid that begins to gather at the bottom of the cylinder is what would be used to determine the drain time of a sample.